welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Saturday, September 17th, and today I'm going to be filming a vlog. So Cody is going to be gone all day helping out a friend, so we're just going to have a little bestie day, and I've got a lot of stuff to do today. So right now I have Rudy in the back seat, and we're headed to a vet appointment. Yesterday I was with 100% certainty able to tell that Rudy is a boy. So I definitely need to get the process rolling that he get neutered. That is because once male rabbits reach their hormonal age, they will start spraying like cats do. They will spray pee everywhere and I don't want that in my house. So we're headed to the vet this morning. Of course, it's about a 30 minute drive because there's no exotic vets in our area. And we're gonna get little Rudy looked at, get his nails clipped, and get him scheduled for his surgery. So, let's go friends, let's have a good day together. To the vet we go. We just pulled up and oh my gosh, look at how big this place is. They've got a grooming salon, a pet resort, and an animal hospital, holy moly. later Rudy was given a clean bill of health so that is great he had an exam they trimmed his nails and he weighed 3.9 pounds the vet decided we need to wait a little bit longer to neuter him until his man junk drops and stays there so got the rabbit taken care of I've been needing to do a little checkup on him all as well and we're gonna do the rabbit neuter in a month or two. So yay, starting the day on a good note, let's head back to Baytown. We are back at home and I know someone who is ready to come out. I'm gonna let him come out on his own versus me pulling him out. Come on. There we go. There we go, you know where you're at. Come on out, Bun Buns. There you go. Yay, we're back at the house. I am currently in desperate need of some caffeine and some food. I just whipped myself up some coffee in my little iced coffee maker that I love so much. Going to add a little bit of half and half to it and I'm almost out of that. Should I just, we're just gonna use it all up. One less thing in the fridge. And I'm going to add a little bit of this pumpkin cinnamon roll skinny syrup. I got this at Marshall's. I think you can usually find these at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And it's so good. It just makes me so happy for fall. Even though it's still 90 degrees outside today, I can pretend like it's fall, okay. I'm gonna give her a stir and dig into this caffeine because I just hit a wall and I am tired and I am so hungry and I have no idea what I'm going to eat. Our kitchen is just an absolute disaster. That's why you're, you're not looking at it right now. I've got to work on that today. I don't have any space to cook. Oh, I'm struggling. I need the caffeine and then maybe I can make the decisions. These darn animals are the reason why I have little gray hairs popping up in my head. I walked by the door and I look outside and I realized Cooper was out there spitting up. So I run out there, he spits up like twice. And I'm like, okay, I think he's better. And then I look over and he's like dripping drool. And this dog never drools. And so I was like, oh no, I'm panicking. But his attitude was all right. He wanted to play with the ball. So as of right now, I think he's okay. He just stole uh, some rabbit's lettuce and is eating that and wanted to play. So crossing our fingers, maybe he just choked on something. I don't know, but my anxiety is super high right now and I'm keeping an eye on him. But now that that debacle is over, it's time to make our first meal of the day. It is now 1238. I am hungry and I'm going to make some 
low carb spicy tuna bites for lunch today. I have all the stuff set out behind me and I'm gonna show you how to make these because I am obsessed with them. It's kind of like sushi, but without all of the carbs and I can get down with it. Let's make them. So in a little bowl, I'm gonna add a can of drained tuna, some light mayo, some sriracha, and some salt and pepper and just mix that together real good. I have a seedless cucumber that I got at the grocery store, and I'm just gonna make some small slices of cucumber. I'm not a huge fan of cucumber, but for some reason in this recipe, it just works. I can get down with it. Put all the slices on a plate, and now I'm gonna take some of this whipped cream cheese and put just a little dollop of cream cheese on top of each of the cucumber slices. Just gonna grab one, add a little cream cheese, like so, and just do it to all of the rest of them. Once you've added your cream cheese to all your cucumber slices, you're just gonna start adding little dollops of your tuna mixture right on top of the cucumber slices pretty simple to make. And the last thing I'm going to do is top them with some black sesame seeds. I just like that it gives it a little bit of extra oomph. And that is how you make these spicy tuna bites. They're really simple to throw together and it's kind of giving me the flavor of sushi, but without all of the carbs, I have been on a sushi kick lately. I could eat a Philadelphia roll like every day, but I shouldn't need a Philadelphia roll every day. So we're doing the little low carb, healthier version. So I serve these alongside some of these liquid aminos, which this stuff tastes exactly like soy sauce and it's better for you. So I have a little bowl of it right here. Serve it alongside my bites and I'm gonna go dig on in. Yay, I'm so excited. I am so hungry. Hey Cooper, I just wanted to let you know you're not a rabbit. Here in our bathroom, all we have is this little sink. We have no area to store anything and it's a pain in my butt. For a little while now, I have been thinking of turning this little corner of my office into a makeup area. So I finally pulled the trigger the other day and bought a couple of things off Amazon so I can make a little beauty area. So over here, this is my Ikea Alex drawers. So this is where I store all of my extra makeup. I have way too much. And I figure maybe making this will help me, you know, use some more of this makeup and actually get ready from time to time. So that is from Ikea. This is not from Amazon. I got this glossy desk. It was like 80 something dollars. It had really great reviews and some really bad reviews. It was a cheap vanity with some drawers. So we're gonna see if it turns out. If so, it'll be a really good find. I also got this light up makeup mirror, which I'm so, so, so excited about. I bought this, it was $99, but I did see it went on sale for like $15 off of that last night, of course. And then I also got some acrylic makeup storage and we're about to, you know, try and assemble all of this ourselves and see what happens. I just laid out all of the pieces and got little pieces of styrofoam everywhere as I did that. But it says for one person, this is going to take an hour and a half to assemble. Quick update, I'm an hour into building this desk and I figured out I did the first step wrong, which was my most frustrating step. So that's super fun for me, but it's not awful and it's not good. It's like building a piece of Ikea furniture. Very frustrating. But I have got to take a quick break and run over to my parents. They are out at dinner and my brother cooks dinner at about six o'clock on Saturday evenings. So I'm gonna go over there, make sure he does that without incident. Then I'm gonna come back and keep chugging along on this desk. Say hi to YouTube. Hi to YouTube. What'd you make? Hey. 
What'd you make? What's it called? Pasta. Yeah. All right, we got Michael's pasta made. Pasta. No issues. He's all good to go. The chicken run situation has been a little bit less than ideal. I had to do this little redneck setup to give them a little extra space to run around in because our yard was underwater because of the hurricane. Thankfully, it's drying out, and I think in a day or two, I'll be able to like put back up their setup. But for now, it just have to make do. And somehow, I just got home, and there's two chickens just out wandering around. Somehow, they escaped my redneck contraption and i'm thankful they didn't get eaten because we've had some hawks hanging around trying to eat them that's why they're locked up until i can sit out here and watch them i don't know how they're getting out how did those two get out because that gray one got out earlier today and i could not figure out for the life of me how that happened good goal y'all if you want to know something weird, this chicken, who has always been super flighty and kind of scared of me, since we removed the rooster, she has now kind of become the dominant one. And this morning, I heard her crow. Yes, crow like a rooster. I keep trying so hard to get it on camera. So yeah, super fun fact, like if there is not a rooster, some dominant hens will try and become a rooster. She is 100% a hen and I heard her crow this morning. We actually have had a hen in the past when we had no roosters start crowing. So I've seen it before and I think internally they can even like try and become a man. It's really interesting. Y'all, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. I have put these stupid legs together wrong for the third time. And these each have eight screws in them that are terribly difficult to put together. <sighs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, Cooper gave for mental support. Oh my God, this is going to kill me. I've got to deal with these stupid screws again. <gasps> Look at these sweet babies just cuddled up on the couch, taking them an afternoon nap. Y'all just fit right into that little fluffy blanket, don't you? I strive to be half as comfy as they always are. My cute babies. Someone doesn't seem too upset that I took him to the vet today. He's been running around and tearing things up like a madman. You sure have been. Yes. I was honestly starting to doubt myself. But y'all, I freaking did it. I put together the desk and I am so excited. Let me show you this thing real quick and I've got to say for like the 85 or 87 dollars I paid for this Honestly impressed. I mean you usually get what you pay for and for some random table I found on Amazon I think it's gonna make the perfect little base to my vanity So first off it fits perfect in this space and it looks cute. It's got like the silver legs This is like a glossy finish on the top like a lot of vanities are it's got two pretty big drawers. Look at that. I was concerned about these like fitting correctly. And they're pretty sturdy. Like this is gonna work perfect for a vanity. The only issue I have, and it's not the vanity's fault, it is the fact that I have 80 year old hardwood floors that slope to the side. So uh, this thing is a little bit rickety. So if you have any tips or tricks of how I can make this where it's not going to rock all over the place, leave a comment down below. I would love your opinions. Now, time for the big vanity light that's going to go right in the middle. And it is coming together. Oh my golly. We got the mirror set up. We got some cardboard under a leg because we redneck around here. And y'all, look at this. Look at this. Are you ready? Oh my gosh this thing is awesome there are like different modes 
Obviously, this like bright white light is the best for seeing all the imperfections on your face. 10 out of 10, this thing is so cool. I cannot wait to sit here and do my makeup. Just look at that. You ready for the final reveal? Oh, oh my gosh. I am absolutely and utterly obsessed. I have not wanted to do makeup because I've been shoved in our bathroom with no space for like a year and a half now. I'm gonna have my own little space to play with makeup and get ready each morning. Maybe that's gonna make me wanna wear makeup again. I am so excited. So I got this little drawer set off of Amazon. I think it was like $22 or something, super cute. This is an old one that I've had, basically the same thing. And then this is like a brush holder I got at like Marshalls that has a sticker stuck to the front. So I've gotta figure out how to get that off. But I am so excited. I need to get a rug and I need to get a stool to sit on. So if anyone has any recommendations, feel free to leave them down below because I want something cutesy pootsy. I just don't know what yet. But y'all, I'm so excited. I am so freaking excited. Ah! <laughs> Hello, it is currently 11:21 p.m. I was zoned in to that vanity for hours and then I got up did some dishes and all of a sudden yeah it's past 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten in hours and I am hungry so I just whipped up a real healthy meal I had some of these flat out thin crust pizzas for the little thin crust it's like 130 calories so not terribly high in carbs or calories but I made me a pepperoni and jalapeno flatbread because I didn't know what else to make and I was so hungry I could not think straight so cheers I'm just gonna sit here and eat this pizza without cutting it because that's just dirtying up another dish I also put red pepper flakes and pizza seasoning on this. It is so good, so good. I needed this. So now I'm gonna eat this and probably start winding down and getting ready for bed. Good morning. It is the next day and I'm coming at you from my beautiful new makeup vanity. Oh, this thing is so much fun. It makes me so happy. Just to have my own little space to sit down and play with makeup a little bit. Last night after I ate that flatbread, I went and laid down and crashed. It is now Sunday morning and I think I am going to wrap up the vlog here. I feel like I got a lot accomplished yesterday, which is a thumbs up, although I wish I'd gotten the laundry done too. But this whole setup thing took a little bit longer than expected. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye guys! Mwah!